Wah, 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 wah. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to The Bone Pit. I'm your host, Bone Score. And today, today we're playing some Dark Souls 3. That's right, that's right. We're playing Dark Souls 3. And hopefully, we'll be able to finish it. I hope, fingers crossed, knocking on the wood. That's actually wood. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're uh, hopefully going to get through the end of Dark Souls 3 today. We've got the Slave Knight Gale fight to do, and then one more fight after that. But we're, we're getting there. We're almost there. Um... Yeah, closing in on it. Hopefully we can smash through it today. Um, if not, I'm going to be really upset. Be real upset if we have to come back to it tomorrow. So let's... let's Everybody, put your arms up. Lend bone score your energy. And let's, let's get through this today, alright? Um, do I have anything to announce today? Anything to talk about? I don't know. I don't think so. I finished the painting I was working on yesterday. Uh, the one that I was really excited for. Um, my proportions are a little off. And I kind of botched the face and hair, I think. The face more than the hair. Um, I'm not good. I've never been good with faces or hair. Um, I try to just break it down into like shapes and lines and uh, it's hard it's hard but it's you know I did what I could and it, it, you know what you know what it could have been worse it could have been a lot worse so it, it's not bad it's not, it's not that bad so, very excited to share that with you guys in a few weeks, I guess. <laughs> um, given the backlog of stuff I have to put up on the Instagram. But that's okay. That's okay. We'll get to it and you guys will get to see what it is that I'm so excited to paint. And it did give me um, a couple ideas for some more things to paint. Um... I'll have to get around to that later, though. Later on. Um, yeah. So, <clears throat> I don't know if there's anything of substance to talk about for the channel. I don't. I don't think. Uh, <laughs> The schedule is the same. Yeah, I don't know. So he's been a slow day. He's been a pretty slow day. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll just plug my stuff real quickly. Um, Instagram is where I'm recording my journey learning to paint with watercolors, starting from square zero and going up from there. <clears throat> if you'd like to follow that journey and check out how I do, how I progress, you can check that out, the step-by-step -step there on Instagram. If you would just like to see the highlights of my painting and what I deem to be, you know, the better of the crap, uh, you can find that, bam, on Twitter, along with my shit posts and my updates about the channel, the schedule, etc. Check it out. It's not a bad place. Uh, speaking of places that are not that bad, bam, we've got the channel itself on the Twitch, where you find me every single day, around 4 p.m. Eastern, where you can also find the sub button, which has badges, emotes, and the Discord behind it, which is a really cool place to hang out. Uh, I'm there. I shit post there all the time. It's a, it's a great place. You should check that out. Um, if you can't make it to the Strem live when we do things, then <clears throat> by all means, check out the archive on YouTube, where all the past broadcasts go. You can find all of this from days past all up in there. Check that out. 
and smash your buttons wherever you go, your like, your follow, whatever, right? Smash your buttons, stay connected, do it up, okay? So, with that all out of the way, I have got to do one thing, one second. Wah, wah, wah. Okay. That's done. And whoop. And I need to hit this button. There we go. There, now you can see it. I can see that you can see it. Oh, gosh, golly gee there. Logging into Dark Souls. Logging into Dark Souls. Hit in the continue game. Hit in the continue game. <clears throat> Go on to fight Gale now. Go on to fight Gale now. Well, down the Ashlands. Good luck fighting that Hollow Man. Man, I don't even know if he is hollowed or not. If so, he's got to be like one of the last of the Hollows. Oh yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, we were taking cracks at Medir, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Just straight up, I don't. So we're not we're not going to instead we're going to jump right into fighting gale i remember looking at the guide last week after we finished and um checking out what the fight with madeira was like and it was pretty much what you saw and they said there is somebody you can summon in in that room there before uh <clears throat> before you go rushing in and um, they actually make the fight harder, it seems. Yeah, it seems like they make the fight a bit harder. And uh, because, um, because Medir tends to target them, <clears throat> which causes Medir to use a lot of their um, like flying attacks, and like ranged attacks, uh, which are a lot harder to like dodge and deal with. Hmm. Uh oh, too far. I gotta get some distance and drink. I don't imagine I'll beat him on the first try here, but the longer I can last, the more practice we get in. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. Woo! Gotta time that dodge right. Oh man, that attack is real cool. It's hard to gauge like where it's gonna go though. That has distance to it. Can't believe I actually got him on that one. Ho oh, ho! Looks like you just gotta time it right. Ah! Oh, damn it. Whoa, how?
He didn't do his leap attack at the end of that. That's weird. Oh, there it is. He's got some range with that fucking thing. <clears throat> oh, man. Oh, this is rough. <laughs> That's a rough start. He's so strong, though. So, I, again, <clears throat> was reading the guide afterwards last week. And, um... I was reading that... Uh... They were saying, like, if you have a, like, a rough time fighting with him in any one of these areas here, like, up here where he attacks you, or down in the, like, the throne area after the cutscene starts, right? Um, remember that this is a very large arena. Like, the whole desert is the boss arena. You can fight him anywhere you want. So if you're getting held up on the terrain and the obstacles and everything, you can just, like, lead him somewhere else. It was also saying that, like, a lot of his attacks in second and third phase, um, have, like, the placement on them, like, their, their height and their range and everything, means that you can pretty much just walk through them. Like, you just walk to the side, and he'll, like, completely miss you, depending on where you are. Ho oh, oh. ho! Come on. I definitely don't want to fight him over there during the second and third phases. The third phase is when he does that skull attack. They all come out and like go into the ground and explode. Like there's so much over there to get caught up on when there's lightning coming at you. <clears throat> I'd much rather fight him like up here or over there or something. <laughs> Even though you can't see him, like, leaping over the hill like that. It's so cool, though. It was worth it. Oh, I fucking swung twice and I still missed him. Calm down. It's not nice of you. Calm down there. I like this. I like fighting him like on this ridge here, because you can go up and down to avoid his attacks. like this. This is nice. Oh, that was a bad idea. I went to swing, and I shouldn't have. Yeah, fighting him atop this dude here is really cool. I like this. Just run. If you run far enough away from him there, he doesn't... Like, I guess you're out of his range and he doesn't bother with the leap attack. Because he doesn't have the distance for it. I should have known better. Ooh. Get him. Come on, you fucker. Let's deal with you once and for good to for once and for twice. Put you to rest for good today, come on. Oh. 
There we go. Okay, so I know how this goes. And I don't want to be here for it. I want to take him back to where I was, which is actually the opposite direction of where I am now. Oh, fuck, he can teleport. I forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot. He can just straight up teleport. Like, right behind you while you're running. Which is not good. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Okay, maybe I should, like, fight him, but lead the fight back this way. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh. I didn't think he was going to follow up with the crossbow again. Okay, I gotta lead him up there and over the ridge where the things are. So I have to, like, turn around to the left, I guess? That was not too bad, though, I think, for a second attempt. I'm gonna check the bonfire every time we come back to it to see how traffic is doing. See if it's worth it to pop an ember and see if there's help. Because there's no NPC for this fight. We are on our own without the computers. Cool. Oh, damn. Alright, come on, you. Back this way. Uh-oh. Back this way a little bit further. If you don't mind. There we go. Yeah, I want to fight you down here. Come on, over this way. Oh shit, he got me. I'm dead. I don't have enough health for that next one. Yep. Oh man. I wonder what that second chunk of damage is from. Is it from the impact of being thrown? Or is it like from sliding off of his jagged rusty blade? Like it tears you up on the way in and it's tearing you up even more on the way out ladies <laughs> all right let's do this go, go punch him in the mouth take off my fucking sword I'm gonna punch him in the mouth. See? Just like that. Punch him in the fucking mouth. You should fight him like that. With, with gumption and chutzpah. Just get right up in there. I'm sure if we work the jaw long enough, it'll come off. Oh, man. I pretty much just stayed inside of him, and he, like, couldn't track me. Ooh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, Whoa, that's not good. Fuck out of there! Yeah. You don't want to be inside him for that. back this way. That's right. Up the hill. Over the hill. Through the woods. To grandmother's house we go! Oh shit. Yeah, I'd be mad too. Going, going to grandma's. She's got those sugarless cookies. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, damn. Apparently, like, my mom and my brother went to visit her recently, and she was like, oh, I made these new muffins. Try them. And, like, apparently they weren't even identifiable as muffins. Like, visually. Nor did they taste like muffins, I'm told. She tries, but I don't know. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> All right. Let's let's go. Let's go smack Dirty Santa around a little bit more. Or have him smack us around. He's like a... He's like a medieval Santa. Except instead of, like, coming down the chimney and bringing you toys, he comes thundering across the desert like an animal and swings his broken, rusted sword at you. He wants that pitiful thing? That dark soul? You can make paint with it. <clears throat> oh, man. I can't remember, but I think you can stagger him? You can't parry him. I know that much. You can't parry this motherfucker, which is great because I can't parry anybody usually. Oh, three was real greedy there. Uh oh, I lost sight of him. What the hell? Yeah. Oh, shit. I was doing pretty good dodging until that third one hit. Alright, up here. need like one more hit on him and he'll stop with this shit. There we go. Two hits. Alright, now I need to get fuck out of here. Fight him up and over here. This is where we were before, right? Oh no! Oh, shit. Yeah, fight him up and over here. Ooh. There we go. Out in the open. Alright, this is where I want to fight you, bud. said you want to roll like into his attacks or through them so like that drink roll 
get behind his initial location from where he shot the discus. Ooh. Oh, that second hit was greedy, and I know it. Drink. Okay, don't get too far away or he'll use that crossbow. Or he's gonna use the skull attack. Phase three. Okay. Oh shit. See, yeah, all those fucking. All those marks on the ground, those are the lightning. And if you step on it, it calls. Uh, no. It's not if you step on it, it's if one of the skulls goes into it. Into the ground there, that's where the lightning comes down. Or is it that the skulls hit the ground and then they cause the lightning marks? And then if you step on it, you get hit. Talk shit, get hit. Man, we were doing so well there. Let's see if we can't do better. If hey, fighting them out in the open there seemed like a better idea, I like that. Like that a lot. Not being hung up on the the environment this is really nice. Ah. Oh, get him again. I'm always thrown when he does that, but I think that's me, like, breaking his guard and putting him into that, like, critical state. So, like, I could, like, hit him again from the front and do that big crit shot where he, like, Whoa! Which, like, chunks out his health. Yeah, I don't think he can be parried, but I think he can be guard broke. Or stamina broke, whatever you want to call it. You break some of his shit. It's okay, he deserves it. I mean, the rest of his shit's, like, pretty much already breaking all over, right? So, like... I mean, he himself is breaking, like, out the middle. So... <laughs> clearly, somebody has, has deemed it, uh... Fine enough. He get fucked. How about I? Make he come running all the way across the desert to see me. And I just smack him in the face with the sword. That's another thing. When he does his big, like, red leap thrust attack, you want to try to dodge, like back into the side or whatever like you want to dodge so that you're in position to run up and hit him right away afterwards because that's one of the best times to get him dancing around under his attacks like this is i don't think that's recommended but it's oh jeez! Oh, what the hell happened there he fucking broke oh what is happening? He keeps breaking in the air there. That's fucking weird. I've never seen that before. I've, he just like went into his A pose or something. Like, that's so stupid. What the fuck happened? Is that like a, like a replicatable thing? If you get him to launch that attack off of that hill repeatedly, like is, is that something? I'm seeing people here, so I'm wondering if maybe there's a, a kind individual, a sunbro perhaps, who might have left their they're marked down. Anybody? 
Anybody made oh man. Saint required ahead. Oh jeez. May the flames guide thee. Oh, this sucks. Somebody. Somebody! Frost or bleeding. That's true. Could this be a pointless, therefore dead end ahead? Misfortune ahead. Oh, man. The health boost will probably help. But... Oh. Be real cool if there was like literally anybody here. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's my fault. That's my fault for popping that. Oh, why is there no traffic, huh? I see the bloodstone. Oh. I was gonna say, I see the bloodstains. I know y'all are here. I know you motherfuckers are here. Is there, is there people doing fucking PvP in here? Hey, we did it! Welcome! Hey! Alright, alright, cool, okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Woo -woo. Where is... Oh. I was going to point over there to tell him I wanted to fight over there. But that's okay. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Ha! That's okay. That's one hit. Uh oh. Oh shit! Woo! Put some distance and drink. And get in there. Fuck him up. Just a little bit better. Not too much. Yes. Man, it, it seems like we're able to do like just enough damage to him to like switch aggro back and forth that he's not like after one of us for too long. Yeah! Phase two right away. Okay, fuck this guy. Oh, he's over there? Okay, he's gonna fight him here. I was hoping we could lead him away. That's okay. Woo, woo, woo. Let me drink a roo over here. Hold on, I'm gonna lacerate up. Uh oh. Drink. And lacerate his asshole. That's a horrible thing to have happen. Your asshole lacerating? That can get infected real bad. Uh oh. Up, drink. Man, I dumped so much stamina. Oh, he's gonna do that burst attack. My night dude has died. Oh, shit. 
but he has granted me the opportunity that I needed. Uh-oh, get out of there. Drink. Ooh! Ooh! Back up, back up, drink, and roll through it. Uh oh. Shit. Back up, back up! Oh man! It was a mistake to swing. It was a mistake to swing. So close. So very close. Okay, maybe if I'm quick enough, <laughs> I can find Buddy's thing again. No. No, he not dropped again? Oh. <laughs> that was real close. We got real close there. I... <laughs> I'm ashamed that I dropped, so, dropped the ball so fucking hard after he, he left. I guess he was clearly doing most of the heavy lifting there. Uh, I almost wonder... Hold on, hold on a second. It's got C... It's got C and D, huh? Hmm. I'm just wondering... Like, if I... What are my stats actually right now? They're... Sorry, I, f I feel like I'm hearing the noises of the, the things coming in. Um, 30, 30, 15, 15, and like 50. Hmm. I could reallocate a bunch of that. I gotta reallocate, like, all of my souls. What level am I at? Level 100. So, yeah, I could... I could do that. Ugh. Why don't... Hold on. What did I... grab here? Did I grab... Frida's Great Scythe. I did grab that. So that apparently is a killer dex weapon, but you've got to have the... Yeah, the intelligence and the faith to wield it. Huh. How does that scale, though? E, B, B, and E. E. So dex and intelligence. That apparently does like fucking tons of damage. What is what is that doing right now? That's four hundred and that's four forty eight, right? All together. That so far is three thirty seven. Uh um 40, 90, uh, 450, 4, Oh, these might actually be better. Hold on. Those might be better than what I'm rocking right now. Okay, so I could use the heavy attack there and see how that does. I feel like if I'm going to use these, though, I should probably max them out, right? Which means I should probably go someplace where I can get the souls for that. Oh, where was a good... 
Oh, hey, the rope bridge cave. I never went back and talked to that, uh... That weird gross guy in the cave, did I? Is this creepy motherfucker? Is he not in there? Oh, this is the wrong. It was the wrong bonfire. My bad. Snowfield. 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 Yeah, this place ought to be, like, just outside the cave where we come in, right? I have no idea if this dude has anything to say to us now. But we'll find out. Hello? Oh, hello. Quick, go along. Find what the Nope, he's got nothing for me. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Physical, magic, and fire. Right? Okay, it's not dark damage. He's got resistance to dark. And maybe... F maybe fire? Oh, so that might not be a good thing to use on him anyways. All right, back to this place while I <laughs> fucking flip through my inventory to see what else I got. Hello, carving. Those things are great. We only found like two of them this time, didn't we? Hello, jolly companions. Sunrose. Hello. Alright, well, there's gotta be something. There's gotta be something. Uh, yeah, apparently these are really good. When you... When you level it up. And spec for it properly. <laughs> Which we almost are... If we pulled, like, a couple of points out of our decks and put them into the intellect and faith so we could wield it properly. Hold on, I'm gonna... I'm worried about going in there with these and, like, it's not gonna hold up and I'm gonna waste that ember that I popped. What else do I have? The Onyx Blade is... Like a... Faith Int weapon. Valor Heart. That's at plus four. Two. I'm gonna do, only going to do like 300 damage though. Murky Hand Scythe. No. Eighth Dagger. Aquamarine Dagger. <laughs> I'm gonna respec into a mage for the final fight. That'd be an interesting way to go. We don't have a whole lot of spells, do we? Do we? What kind of spells do we have? We have Fair and Dart that I got at the beginning. Soul Stream. Fire Torrential Volley of Souls. Is that we got first scholars doubted linking the royal th do we get this for beating the did we get this for one of the uh, from one of like the prince's soul or whatever great magic weapon frozen weapon 
Imbue's right hand weapon with Frost. Snap Freeze. And all these Pyromancies. Wave White Corona. Lightning Arrow. Because the spear wasn't good enough. Hmm. I don't think there's anything in here that'll outshine that. Outshine these or the scythe beside my broadsword. Maybe this thing, but I don't know if that actually does a whole lot more. If I respect him, I ain't. If I respect into a strength build, that might do more. But it'd have to do. It'd have to catch up by like 128 points. I don't know if it would. <clears throat> uh, Earth to the straight sword. I fucking love this thing. I think this is what I did it with last time. I'm gonna go to where is it? Cathedral of the Deep, Rosari's bedchamber. Let's see what we can do about this. Just holy crap. <laughs> holy fucking crap. might be good to f get like a proper set of armor too like a, like a full set and not this haphazard bullshit hazel pick and xanthus crown cool reallocate attributes e hold on let me just take a quick look. Uh-oh. Hold on. Claranthe. Dexterity. That's the one that's throwing me off. So, 30, 30. 15, 15, and 57. Okay. I can... I can deal with that. Reallocate attributes. No pale tongue in inventory. Oh, did I deposit them? So that I wouldn't get rid of them by accident? I did too. Pale tongue. I have one left. I don't know where to get more. I'd have to do a PvP thing, I think. Uh, reallocate attributes. Blah. So they only let you do it five times per game. I can't go any lower than this. Okay, so I'm gonna. Dexterity starts at 16. I'm gonna put four into it. I'm gonna pump strength up to 50. Then Vigor back up to 30. Endurance back up to 30. Vitality's got to go back up to 15. Um, the rest of those are f fucking fine where they are, actually. I've got, what, five extra points? Five extra points to spend. I'm going to dump them into strength. Wait, 358. There we go.
that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna put that ring back on. And now that does 216 plus 161. 184. So my broadsword does less damage now, but my straight sword does slightly more, but like not enough more, maybe? I don't know. God, I hope that's enough. I super duper hope that's enough. There's no traffic right there yet, so I'm gonna actually run out here, and I'm gonna fucking farm up these worm boys real quick. Yeah, because I know there's a whole bunch of you over here. Oh, you tougher, huh? Or did some of you take damage when you fell? I think that's what happened. Pillage corpse? Nice! That's not nearly enough. Oh, that's not nearly enough souls for what I just did. Well... Do I have any soul items? No, I do not. I guess I've got rocks I can get rid of. Travel. Fire link. Let's we'll see what we can do about uh, maybe getting a better armor set. I don't know. So our build is a little bit more optimized for the frost sword now, which is nice. As it should have been. Ah, But again, I'm worried that it's not gonna carry us through as much as we need. Uh what can I fucking get rid of these things, right? Get rid of like five of them? There were like 15 of them. There we go. It gives me... Well, not a whole lot of souls, but it gives me something to work with, maybe? I don't know. I have like pieces of some of these armors, but not like the whole thing for some of them, right? Ah, uh, there's the Xanthus set for the hat we picked up. Ordained set. Oh, that's Sister Frida's stuff. Huh. There's not a lot we can do in there, I don't think. chain set. We don't have that, do we? Faram set is a little heavy, I think. The eastern set might not be bad, though. Might not be a bad purchase. What's that gonna be? 18,000 for the rest of it? Is there any way I can get that from what I have? Probably gonna need like no more than two of each of these, right? I'm not. I'm not gonna use any of them. So, dark gem. No, what is that hollow weapon? Raw. Is that refined? Difficult to wield and scale effectively with strength 
and Dex. Huh. I wonder if that would be useful, like, reforge the broadsword with it. If you just create a heavy weapon, huh? I wonder. That is good, wasn't he? Infuse weapon. This broadsword. Uh, I can make it heavy. And that would boost its damage up to 193. Or refined. Drop it by 6 and boost it to 221. So that's... Hold on. That's 15... 35, 36, minus the 6. It's a 30 point increase. Whereas that is only a 9 point increase. So I could make the broadsword do better with the build that we have. Or Shriving Stone. What does the Shriving Stone do? What does that set it to? I don't want to see my work squandered. I know. Shut up so I can check my inventory, asshole. Undo weapon infusion. That is good, me. That would actually boost my weapon damage. Hmm. Okay, so 18. 18 and 4, 22. Boost by 22, or that was like 30 something, right? Um. I don't think there's any improving the broadsword. I don't think any of these can get, like, improved anymore, can they? Raw. Raw. What about if we made it raw? It would just do a flat 322 and it wouldn't scale. Huh. Okay. Hmm. another piece of that armor set. What did we get? We got the pants. With gloves. Ashen one. Can I? Okay, so can I sell ah. shriving stones to her? Because I don't think I saw... Oh, yeah, there they are. They're only worth a hundred a piece, though. whole lot left there, is there? I gotta go somewhere and, like, farm out some souls. Felinor's Rest again. Let's pop in there and see if there's anybody hanging around. Waiting to be a cool sun bro. Help out. Or, you know, the non-sun bros could help out, too. That's fine. Checking it out, and I don't see anyone. Those messages are really consistent there. Like... Yeah, like, the, these ones are 
consistently in place. Like, those ones were all there last week. I'm pretty sure. All these messages. I don't know if they're dev messages or what, but... Uh, where can I go to farm out some souls real quick? This is probably not the best place. What about in here, huh? Somewhere in here? This is probably not good either. Nor would I want to do stuff in there. The Church of Yorshka, maybe? Is all those weird dancer dudes outside? Distant Manor. Plus Sullivan. I don't know. I definitely don't want to go exploring in there. That place sucks. Sorry's bed chamber, Deacons of the Deep. I'm also just scanning through these to check and see, like, like trigger my memory if we've missed anything. Saros, huh? Oh, right, 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 yeah. And then, and then Dark Fire Link, right? Okay. Yeah, I don't know where the best place to go for that is. Oh, hey there, there's a person there. And they're waving. Are you gonna drop a sign, buddy? Do it. Hey, here's a guy who looks like Solaire. Why don't you drop your sign, buddy? Be a real sun bro. <laughs> I'm just pissing around and and waiting for something to pop up because I really don't want to waste that fucking ember I popped. We don't have many left, and I don't know where to get any more. I think we have to go farm them from enemies. If I'm wanting more of them. Ah, bitch. Well, I guess I should check and see how that armor do, right? Uh, where is... Eastern Leggings. Oh. Okay, hold on. The damage is actually... Down from seven. Hmm. What about the gloves? 2.8? Oh, I heard that noise. Gumby. His name is Gumby. He's wearing the Xanthus crown and he's got fucking Smoke's hammer on him. I'm so down with this sun, bro. What a guy. Oh my god. Can I? Oh, you can't put Karthus Rouge on this, right? Because it's, uh... It's already got a thing. Fucking Gumby. Oh my god. Welcome! Oh, he tried to kick me. Yeah! Alright, alright. Let's do this, Gumby. Man, I really hope Gumby's the one. I kind of really hope Gumby's the one, because that's just going to make the best story. Look at him go. Oh, he fucking invisible when he rolled. Woo! I can't tell if I'm doing more damage or the same. Yeah, out of his way and into position. Oh man, his attacks are shit horrible. Did we stagger him like twice in a row there? <laughs> oh, he really fucked that jump. Get him away from the stuff there, bud. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. 
I don't want him near the wall. Because we'll get stuck against it. Heavy attack, though. It's probably not worth it, I'm thinking. Ooh. He really flubbed that one. It's like he didn't know who he was going for. <sighs> okay. Come on, buddy. Oh. Oh, he threw it that way. Nice. I'm safe where I am. Oh, shit. Let me get out of his way there. Oh, wow. That had some range to it. And I stopped him from shooting at you. You're welcome. He's gonna do his big explosion attack. Get away from him. Get away from him, man. Uh oh. The lightning! It's gonna strike. Like, all right there. You need to get away from it, Gumby. No, Gumby. No, Gumby. I need to save him. I need to save Gumby so he can save me. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? It looked like he fucking disappeared to teleport. Drink. Okay. Oh, you're standing in lightning, Gumby. One of my messages was raided. Nice. Did I get a full heal because of that? Man, he like turned around midair. Oh. Get him, Gumby. Drink. Did he do like a leaping crossbow attack? Christ, I can't see shit. Did Gumby die? I think Gumby died. Oh no! Gumby! I can't squander this chance that Gumby... Oh no! That Gumby gave me. And I did exactly that. I squandered it. Look at how close we got, guys. No, don't look at it. Don't, don't look at it. It's embarrassing. Don't look at it. At my failure. Don't look at it. Damn it, Gumby. We were so close. I was really hoping he'd be the one. Oh, who's that? It's Gumby! This close, Gumby. This close. Maybe if I'm lucky, somebody else will also pop up too. Three on one will be much better than two on one, if my math is correct. I know, I know. I'm gonna wait like two seconds. Three, two, 
one. Anybody out here? No? Okay. I guess here we go. I'm sorry, Gumby. You worked so hard. I'm gonna back up just a little bit and swap to my broadsword. And that'll do slightly more damage, I think. It's crazy how even on the, like, a swapped build with a sword that was, like, retooled for dex, I'm still doing more damage with it than with that Irithyll sword. Oh, man! Is Gumby getting him with the fucking bad connection? getting real close. Just gonna hit that next phase in a second. Woo! Alright. Shake it out, Gumby. Shake it out. Get loose. Get ready. Alright. Ooh. I went in for that swing a little early. I felt it. I felt the earliness. Bring. And swing. From before he does the spooky thing. Look at them. Look at all the spooky skulls. Woo! Get away from the lightning area. It's just foolish to play with. Oh, I was too early on that roll. Oh no, all the skulls, they want to hurt me. Why skulls? Why would you betray me like this? Oh man, he's totally firing his crossbow in the air when he does that one long leap attack. Oh, oh shit! Drink. And drink again. Well, it's more important that I survive this than, than Gumby. But also, I should get in there and fuck him up so he doesn't kill Gumby outright. Oh. Oh, you must die. You, you must get the fuck out of here. Leave Gumby alone. What did he do to you? Except try to help me. Oh shit, I rolled the wrong way. Oh yeah, Gumby, take his attention. Oh! Yeah! Oh! Soul of Slave Nightgale, Blood of the Dark Soul, Sunlight Metal. Thank you so much, Sunlight Warrior Gumby. All hail Sunlight Warrior Gumby. My main man, Gumby.
with the fucking hammer and the and the Xanthus crown. What a bro. What an absolute fucking bro coming in to help out with that. Gumby, if you out there. Oh, you the man, Gumby. You the big man. Biggest I've ever seen. The nuts. The, the size of the nuts it's got to take to counterbalance the swing of that hammer. Oh, beautiful. Thank you, Gumby. Small place right here, always. For Gumby. Everybody. Everybody, everybody. Rattle your bones. For Mr. Gumby. There we go. Rattle bones for Gumby. Oh my god. Firelink. Now. Good time for that. Holy shit. My god. Blah. You know what? You know what? You know what? My dinner's ready. That's what? So. So what? So I'm gonna tab over. I'm gonna go get my food and I'll be back in just a second, okay, guys? Holy fuck. Oh my god. <sighs> Holy shit. That fight. Oh. Oh, that fight. I'm so glad that that fight is over. Holy shit. <clears throat> okay, so... We picked up two things. Soul of Slave Knight Gale. The red-hooded wandering Slave Knight Gale sought the blood of the Dark Soul as pigment for the painted world. But Gale knew he was no champion, that the Dark Soul would likely ruin him, and that he had little hope of a safe return. Repeating crossbow. Oh, it looks really cool. This crossbow, customized for repeat firing to face mobs alone, was wielded by Slave Knight Gale. Used in the battles of an endless journey, this crossbow was covered with twists and dinks, rusted with blood, and made extremely brittle from overuse. Uh... I mean, Gale's greatsword. Great sword of Slave Knight Gale, the only weapon that he kept with him from beginning to end. Originally an executioner's sword made for decapitation, this blade is heavily chipped and stained with the blood of countless battles. And it lets you do... Precarious technique unique to the undead Gale. 
leap in any direction, slamming the great sword to the ground, then follow with n normal attack for a large spinning slash, or strong attack to backstep and jump forward in an overhead slam. Cool. I don't want either of those. But... I, it's better that I get this one, I guess. I'll spend 20 of the 90,000 souls he dropped to get a sword I'm not going to use. Just so that I don't have to spend that much next time. Organize the box and throw it in there. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that. And that. And that. Oh, we didn't read that. Hazel pick. Choice weapon of yellow finger Hazel. Uh, a finger of Rosaria and Xanthus Scholar. This is both a weapon and a sorcery staff. The gold specks are remnants of lost sorceries. Keep the rest of those on me, I think. So let's go over here and level up a little bit. We can get like one from her, I think. Yeah. Or. Mayest thou findest peacest Taoist. Alright. Alright, what do I want? I want Eastern armor. I want. What do I want? Uh, Lorien's armor is kind of cool. Uh, I don't know if it's any good or not, though. I really don't. I really don't. Um, or Gundyr's armor. Oh, it's heavy, though. It's heavy. It's cool, though. It's fucking neato burrito looking. Mm, the rest of Frida's stuff. And the Sage's big hat. We've been wanting that the whole time. Might as well grab the rest of the Xanthus set. And we're out of souls. Whole bunch of armors that we're not going to use, probably. And here we go. Blood of the Dark Soul. Pigment to depict a painted world. Blood of the Dark Soul that seeped from the hole within Slave Knight Gale. Used as pigment by his lady in Arendelle to depict a painted world. When Gale came upon the Pygmy Lords, he discovered that their blood had long ago dried and so consumed the Dark Soul. So they had no blood left to give, and he was like, well, if I feast upon them, then I will have the dark soul, and then I will bleed, and then paint. But then, because he had the dark soul, he went kind of nuts. So... That was a problem. We're going to head back to the painted world here. And we're going to go take the paint to that lovely little girl up the ladder so that she can paint a new world. As is, I guess, what she's been telling us she's going to do the whole time. Oh, it's so fiery up here, but she's she's gonna paint nonetheless. Give blood of the dark soul. My thanks, Ashen One. With this, will I paint a world? Please tell me thy name. Oh I yeah, name cool. This painting after thee. 
Yeah, I'd just share your name. My thanks. I will paint a world of that name. I will paint a world cold, called Bone Score. Dark and very gentle place. Oh, cold, dark, and, and gentle day, place. Oh, is that is that descriptive of Bone Score? Is that an accurate description? Cold, dark, and gentle. I wonder when Uncle Gale. Like a friendly emo. I hope the new painting will be to him like a, a gentle home. Like like a goth who looks really intimidating. Then you get to know him. He's actually a really sweet guy. He takes care of kittens. Fashion one. I will assuredly finish the painting. Oh, you will assuredly, huh? One day. Make someone a goodly home. My thank I will have a one day. All right, well, let you do that, and I'm gonna. Oh shit! No, it's not. Damn it! Well, here I go, back to the wrong bonfire. I think it's probably gonna send me to the wrong bonfire. Unless it counts coming through a bonfire. Like teleporting to it as sitting at one. Because the last one I sat at was in Firelink. Wow, that's taking a while, isn't it? Ah, there we go. Excellent. It does count the teleporting to it as, as sitting at it. So I bet that took a while to load because I had to load a thing in. Has she been painting? Has she? I can't tell. My thanks. I will have a cup one. Is that it? Is that all you got? My thank I will have a cup one day. What is read message? Rubbish. Filth. Aw. I think she did a nice job. I think she did okay. Well, since that's over and done with, I guess we really only have one place left to go. And one thing left to do is to go fight Dark Eater, my dear. No, you shut up in the back there with that. You shut the fuck up about that. But what about the dragon? He's in the, in the other area there. You didn't go fight the dragon. Shut the fuck up, you in the back, about the dragon. Shut up. With the fucking dragon. My god. So I did find out that if you beat the dragon down if you beat Medea afterwards and then uh, after pushing him off the cliff and then go back and talk to um, what's her face in the uh, in the church there or whatever behind the door uh, she will give you a slab which is so not worth the effort because we have five slabs and I've not used any of them I used like two to max out the broadsword and the frost the, the earth illustrate sword that's it that's it. There's no, there's no need for no more. Oh look, oh look, the fu the big drippy sun, it dripped down right there. Ooh, is there a dude there? It looked like there's a dude over there. Oh, it looked like there's a dude. Okay. He's just sitting there, kind of, on fire. Or behind the fire. He was sitting at the fire. Soul of Cinder, motherfuck! Woo! Okay, so his attacks... ...are not that heavy. They're not nearly as heavy as Gale's attacks. He's a bit quicker, though. I'm having a hard time recovering and then swinging. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, he's switching. His fucking coiled sword is a catalyst now. That's so cool. It's not like he switched weapons. He just, like, held it a different way. And oh! He started fighting as a mage. Oh, dude! That was so cool! What kind of move was that? 
like a goddamn Kamehameha. And now it's like curved. So he's got what, like dex combos now? And he's also got that fucking poison mist cloud, so he's like a pyromancer or something. Oh man, this guy is for real. Look at him in the flips. He's like a dex pyromancer. Look at this guy. What kind of weapon is that? Is it a spear? Is it a pole arm? I think a spear is a kind of pole arm, isn't it? Oh man, you are for real, aren't you? Oh! Oh, that's it, huh? It wasn't like an impalement attack. I thought he was gonna, like, impale me and then throw me or something, like, uh... What is it? The, the Dragon Slayer guy with the spear. Ornstein. Oh, man. Oh! With the fire! Rude. Oh, rude. And the poison, too. My god. This guy is just so cool. This is the guy from the box art, if I'm not mistaken. Fucking soul of cinder. Oh man, my sword is so short. Not able to hit him. Oh! I can't believe he didn't kill me with that attack. This is not good. This is super not good. Oh no. Oh, and here's why it's not good. Because now he's somebody more familiar. Whoa, that fucking attack. Oh, goddamn. So you might recognize this moveset. Uh, somebody we fought a couple of games ago. So the Soul of Cinder the guy we just fought is uh, like the collective soul of pretty much everybody who's ever linked the fire oh god pretty much all of the chosen undead everybody oh damn it going all the way back to Dark Souls 1 if you link the fire you're a part of this guy He's like the embodiment of you um but once you defeat the Soul of Cinder, you know, you burn out all the, you know, the Chosen Undead power that's built up. What's left in there? Well, you're pretty much left with about the only motherfucker who's ever actually, um, you know, linked the fire and then gone on, right? You've got, like, the, the very first person to link it successfully. You got Lord Gwyn. Death! I'm gonna swap out to this, just because it's got a little bit better reach. Yeah, when he, uh, when he changes up his moveset there, like, big, and, um, and refills his health bar, that is Gwyn taking over. I should be two-handing this. And not trying to block with the shield. Yeah, that range on that sword is a little bit better. I don't know if it's the uh, moveset, too. It seems to be helping a little bit. Uh-oh. Oh, motherfuck. Son of a bitch, you fuck off, you. Drink. Good. I pretty much want to just, like, avoid this as much as I can. 
I just want to be far away from him until he switches his moveset. Yeah, there we go. Because it's not a, a damage thing. It's a time thing. Each style or whatever is only going to last so long. I don't know how he got a new set of those um, soul masses to pop up, though. How is that happening? What do you do there? Ah, that was my fault. I should have known he was gonna combo when he just like ran up, so full of himself. So if you were wondering, yes, this is the last boss for Dark Souls 3. If we can push past this guy, then the game is over. And we will have, we will have won it. We will have won it. And we can all go home happy knowing that we don't have to worry about it anymore. Don't have the range for that, do you, buddy? Oh, I don't know what that state was. Can you backstab him? Can you get the critical attack? I guess I like broke his stamina or poise or whatever. The wake up attack from the roll being a stab is so weird. You get him right in the dick. If roll under his attack, poke him in the dick. Poke, poke him in the dick. Oh no, the fire. Get back. Drink. And then get it all up in there and poke him in the dick. Poke him in the dick. Repeat it. Oh. Yeah! Oh no! That son of a bitch! No fuck it, did you see that? I went in for the critical shot and he fucking parried it! How do you even? Oh, this is not good, no, don't get back. Don't, don't back up from him. That's like the worst spot to be against this version is at distance. Fight him dead. Now drink. Okay, that's a lot better this time. I get eight Estes. Right in the dick. Ooh. Oh! The combo! Jesus, okay, well, he at least gives you a little bit more time between his attacks, it seems. Ah, shit. Yeah, he's not nearly as aggressive as uh, original Gwyn. I remember original Gwyn coming at you so hard that, like, you barely have time to heal or to recover your stamina enough for you to, like, attack or block or roll or do anything after dealing with one of his attacks. Like, you're basically caught in this loop of, like, rolling out of the way or blocking one of his hits and then letting your stamina recharge just in time for him to launch another attack at you but you then have to evade or block or etc right 
or he hits you, you take the attack head on, and you drink, and the animation takes so long that he has enough time to launch another attack at you, so you get hit again. Just constantly healing until he fucking, like, gets you between drink cycles. Because he's too quick. Combos. I'll figure it out. Oh, the It's his timing. He winds up, and then there's like a slight pause, and then he, he goes in for it. Oh no, not this shit. Alright, just stay at a distance. Just stay a fucking distance. Oh, shit! Drink. Run! Drink and run and drink and run and drink and run and drink. Okay, and... Woo, woo. God, I'm not a fan of those things. What are you gonna do, huh? Oh. 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 No, you go away. Go away just long enough for me to drink. Okay. Oh, come on. Whoa! What the hell was that? That was like that... That was that miracle emit force? He's even got miracle moves in there. Which I guess makes sense, because he's like... He would have every possible build in there. He's, he's like a amalgamation of like all the different chosen undeads that could have ever gotten there. Christ. Oh, what a cool ass final fight though, huh? Like to cap it all off. I mean, technically speaking, I like I think they want you to go through this and then maybe go to the dreg heap and, and the painted world. But it just makes at least for the ending that we're gonna do, it makes a lot more sense to do it this way. It also kind of prepares you to, like, um, the, the boss fights, the final boss fights for both of the DLCs are way tougher than this. I mean, despite my fumbling of it here, it's... Oh, man. Yeah. Despite my fumbling, like, this is actually a way easier fight. Then fighting like Frida, and then Frida Ariandel, and then Frida again, or fighting Gale, or Midir. Midir isn't optional. Which is why we're not going to go back to that, because it doesn't fucking matter. And. <laughs> yeah, th like those fights are way tougher. So to skip this, do those, and then come back to this is like, well. I don't feel like the tension or the, the pressure in this fight that I did with the other ones. Oh god. Fuck. The timing on his attacks. I don't know what it is. Like, I feel like I see him wind up and then pause. And then go in for the hit. That pause throws me every time. Like I go to account for it, and then he just like he follow through, and oh, I just don't have it yet. 
It took me a while to get the hang of Gale's timing as well. Fight him out enough to see when his attacks are coming. I just stand there and take that because I didn't think the follow-up attack was coming that's why plain and simple I didn't think the follow-up attack was coming that's my fault him up what good. I'm all so listen to I'm all so listen to Ah I went for the attack until after. Ah And if you panic roll after he's done, you've wasted too much time. Oh, that was good. There we go. Come on. Drink. And roll! Fuck. You're not the only one you can trust. Aha! Oh! Get him! Damn it. Where's the the angle for that attack? Because I was standing like right in front of him. That motherfucker. That asshole. You know what? What is my... Sorry, I'm just trying to take a look and see um, where my armor is. Um, there we go. Defense. Physical, 140. Fire, 168. And my overall weight is 67%. So, what if I did this? So my weight is actually down, and my defense is actually the same as it was. But mm, I now have a matching set of armor. And my weight is down. Okay. That's pretty good. I like that. The armor on the hood is better than the armor on the helm. That's nuts. Okay, what if I wore like the whole Slave Knight set? That puts my physical defense... Wait. Oh no, I was misreading that. I was super misreading that. Okay, so my Slave Knight set Has me sitting at 26% absorption. 26 and 16. Twenty-six and sixteen. Twenty-two and twenty-three. And this is heavier. So the slave knife set's actually better. Yeah. 
Yeah, it, gets, it gives you better physical absorption. Huh. He's got no... <laughs> he's just got armor, though, and no, like, legs. He's just got, like, he's wearing the diaper. He's wearing the diaper and the legging, the leg armor and the boots. That's so silly. No, I hate the way that looks. I fucking hate it. I hate it so much. No. I'm not walking around with a fucking diaper ass hanging out. That's the worst. No, I'd rather look like this cool guy. Fucking diaper ass. Man, I should check and see. What's the... It's 23 and 16, right? And 67%? It's the Wolf Knight set, right? No, it's the Dragon Slayer set. Puts me at 87% weight ratio. But my defense goes way up, though. Actually, it only goes up a little bit, physically. The fire defense goes way up, but otherwise, yeah, it's not worth it, I don't think. Let's put that eastern set back on. There we go. Chavez, the fog. Alright, coming for you. Poka, poka, poka. I can't tell. Is this is this better armor? Am I more protected? Yes, no. A little bit, maybe. I don't know. Back up. Yeah, that was a good idea. Back up here. Poke him in the dick. I don't like this form either. This one's hard to get a handle on. He's got combos, he's got mobility, he's got fireballs. You put the fire inside of him. Yeah, I'm poisoned. I figured I would. Sense trying to fight it. Ooh. Right, that's why you don't get in close to him when he's doing that. Ooh. Slice him up! Oh, damn it. No, don't do that. Oh, the fucking Kamehameha thing big blue beam attack. Well, you're not- oh, there he goes. So you're not gonna transform? Fuck. There we go. Just the wrong direction. Oh, you fucker. Good aim. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I didn't know he was gonna do that. I should have, though. It's totally one of Gwyn's moves. Whoa, nope. And whoa, okay. Woo! Why do you keep trying to grab me? I'm really uncomfortable with that. Also with that. Shit, man. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I was talking about before, where, like, Gwyn's got this timing of him, where you're just, like, you're rolling around avoiding his stuff, and, like, there's just barely enough time to avoid and regain stamina or drink and then get hit again or whatever, right?
Uh, all right, let's try this again. We can't lose heart now. Not when we're so close. likes it. Oh shit! So that's a spear move thing. Okay. Is that to imply that like spears are like a cleric weapon? Oh damn, he keeps doing that. And why? He wasn't doing it before. Oh shit! Ho 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 ho! That was lucky. That was not. Drink. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like that I have to spend so much Estus on this one fucking form. Oh, you suck. Oh, damn, I thought I got under that. Alright, fine. No, get behind him. Yeah, get behind him and drink. And then swing. No! Swing! And drink. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Swing. And... Roll. Don't get caught up in that. We'll fu- ah. We'll fuck you up. No! Drink. And roll. Oh, he tried to kick me, you asshole. That was a bad time to drink. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Drink. Nope. Fuck, man. Ah. There's, like, no recovery time there. I'm wondering, like, if I take a hit and I need to heal, is it better for me to just, like, try to put distance between the two of us and, like, heal from across the fucking thing? Because at least if he throws his lightning or something, then, like, it'll, it'll take a split second to get over there, right? Oh, God. What am I talking about? He's so quick, but maybe I can heal faster than lightning can strike me. Ramblings of a desperate moron. Oh no. You're just an angry man, aren't you? You're not as angry as Gale was. You're not actually, like, screaming. Can you be backstabbed? It'd be real cool if you could. Nope. Drink. Oh, man, he's doing that thing again. button do I need to hit to make that attack go off? Is that like a a heavy attack prompt? Oh, that heavy attack was not worth it. Oh, the music fucking stopped for a second there. Oh, damn. Oh. I was too close! Not want to be anywhere near that. Uh oh. Ah, 
Ah. Oh. That was not a haha -ha moment. Oh, he got me. That was stupid. I shouldn't have done that. And... Dodge it. Oh, no. Drink. Oh, shit. That's not what I thought it was going to be. Drink. Okay. Yeah, that was a good idea. Stay at a distance for that. So he's got that same, like, I'm gonna put the fire inside me move. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get away from you. And then drink. Oh. Oh, man. No. Don't do this. Oh no. No, super don't do this. It's actually not so bad when you know it's coming. Fuuuuck. Alright, that's okay. Get up and get away from him. And drink. And roll! Oh shit. Get away from him. And drink. And roll. Man. Drink. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, all right, all right. Here's the, the okay. Soul of the Lords. That's important, but also. Alright, so here's our ending. You guys want to see what we've been working towards the whole time? Summon the Fire Keeper. Okay, so this is where we get the ending that we've been working towards the whole time. So giving her the eyes and letting her see the world without flame showed her the possibility of what could happen. And what is she going to do now? What, what could she be doing? I'm holding on to my controller like this so that I don't hit buttons and I don't put it down and do something stupid. But what is she doing? If we give the eyes to the firekeeper and then we summon her after that final fight, that is that is the first flame I should point out. That bonfire there, that's the first flame. That's what needs to be linked. That's what needs to be quickly fades. Kindled for fire to go on. And what does she do here? Will shortly settle. Now, I'm pretty sure we have the option right here. We could hit the attack button, and we could... One day, tiny flames will dance across the darkness. Like embers linked by Lord's past. I'm pretty sure we can cut her down and get, like, a different ending right now. But... She just takes the fire. Yeah, here it is. So we're given control, and we could strike her down, or we let it fade to one. fucking black. Thou my voice still? I hear you, but I can't even see the glow on my sword anymore. Fire fucking 
fades. So what happens in that ending? It's not... The fire is not linked. So the Age of Fire does not continue. This uh, every All the bullshit that's been happening because the age is coming to an end, it does not get fixed and reset because the fire does not get relinked. Okay? Um, this is not the Age of Darkness as in the dark. As in, like, the tangible... Um, like, antithesis to fire, right? Uh, Dark Souls 1 and 2, uh, 2 elaborates on it, but 1 goes on a lot about, uh, like, the dark, right? Uh, like, the, the tangibility, the mass of, of dark, this opposing force. It's not just the absence of light, it is... It is its own thing, right? Like, dark is a... is a thing beyond darkness as you know it. Um... And when you take the Lord of Darkness endings, uh, that's sort of what you are you are doing, right? You are leading an age of dark, of this, like, this force of dark, right? Not just of the absence of fire. This is the other way around. This is darkness as in, like, as we know it, as in... There's no more fire, as in there's no more fucking light. The fire fades from the world entirely, and with the fire goes light. So in this ending, we're shown that the world sort of continues to exist, possibly, in this weird fucky state, but it exists in darkness. There is no more light of the first flame. There is no more magic fire to light the world and to power uh, like the souls and the undead and the gods and all of this bullshit, right? There's no more... There's no more divinity flowing through the world anymore. So everything based on that finally fucking fades away. Now, here's where things get a little touch and go, and where sort of my, my headcanon starts to take over, and I don't know how accurate this is or not, but we see from the beginning, this is the perfect time to do this recap, we see from the beginning um, that even when the fire uh, like just first came into existence or whatever, right, when the Age of Fire started, and the Lord Souls, uh, the Pygmies, etc., they all, like, 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 took pieces of the fire and were granted their Lord Souls. Um, like, we were shown even then at the beginning that the fire would begin to fade, and that it would need to be rekindled if it were to go on. The Age of Fire is the Age of Sun. It's the Age of Light. It's the Age of the Gods. It's the Age of Magic and Divinity. And, like, you want a thing done? You can pray to the Gods. And, and invoke their miracles, right? Or you can study magic and have that, you know, be a solution to your problems or whatever, right? We They live in a world of, of magic and bullshit, but it's fading, right? It will fade over time. Um, the la All three games are various attempts to um, keep the fire going and stave off the undead curse are the two main main things here, right? We're, we're going to fight against the darkness, we're going to keep the fire going, and we're going to fight against this undead curse, this hollowing, whatever it is, try to fix it. Uh, throughout our adventures here, throughout these three games, we're shown that like no matter how hard we try, we can link the fire, we can't keep it going, but it still kind of is like for naught, right? Like it's a, it's a cyclical uh, decay. It's a cyclical decay where the fire can keep going, but it's gonna get worse every time. Um, until we get to this point here, where the fire begins to fade, like, for the final time. Through our adventure here in 3, we come across a number of things that are of interest. We come across, um... We come across a lot of, uh, figures who have been, like, turned into trees, um, pointing towards the sky. We have a lot of instances of figures, um 
like looking towards the heavens in a lot of areas. We have a lot of, um, there's a lot more like churchy stuff, right? There's, there's churches and statues, uh, all over the place with people praying to them while we did go to An Orlando in Dark Souls 1, which is the city of the gods, and we do in fact go here, there again in Dark Souls 3. There's a very big difference between our trips there in the two games, uh, where in one we go and the city is pretty much empty, save for the illusions that, uh, that Gwendolyn has been uh, keeping going, you know, in order to fool the Chosen Undead. Uh, when we get there in 3, An Orlando is... Um, it's full of these, like, religious uh, figures, right? You, you got, like, priests, you got uh, worshippers, right? You've got people, like, on their knees and, like, praying, finally. Um, something that was absent before, but you would think would be very prevalent in a place with temples and, and deities and that kind of thing. Um, we see a lot more of, like, the temples and sort of thing that are uh, found all over Bloodborne, found all over Yarnum. Uh, we come across uh, no, numerous, um, uh, like the, the people stuffed in cages, right? The, uh, the bodies, multiple hollows stuffed into a single iron cage. Uh, very reminiscent of the cages, the head cages that we see on the, um, on Mikolash and, and the students of Bergenworth uh, in Bloodborne. Uh, we start to see... We start to see talk a bit about, um, about, uh, like, water, right? Water having significance. Um, we start ta seeing talk about the moon. We're seeing a lot of people turning into beasts, right? I get the impression that as the fire fades, as darkness descends, um people start looking somewhere else, right? You can't look to the gods of the sun anymore because they're no longer there. Um, so who do they look to? They start looking to the gods of the moon, the, the darkness, the, you know, we might as well lean into what's coming, right? Um, but we even see, like, uh, like Gwendolyn, who is supposed to be the god of the moon in the Anorlando Pantheon, uh, is devoured by Aldrich, and becomes this monstrous being. This all culminates in the fire fading entirely and darkness setting in. Real ass darkness. Um, and who's left? Right? Any any life that's left, any any humans who are unafflicted by a curse, any any creatures of the land, they're free to continue roaming about in darkness but they no longer have access to the miracles of the gods, the magic that, you know, was born of the soul, which was born of the fire, etc. Uh, so they're left to fend for themselves. They're left to develop their own sciences. Um, and I kind of get the feeling that that is what sort of leads into Bloodborne. Uh, going through the Chalice Dungeons in Bloodborne, you, you get a lot of the backstory and the origin of Yarnum um, and the previous civilizations that were built there beforehand. Um, but there is a... Uh, there's a sort of, like, wiggle room in there where it is... I feel like it is possible for um, one of these previously existing um, uh, civilizations like the, the Thumerians or, or whoever um, that y Yarnum is built upon um, could very well be referring to um, the final state of uh, Londor or uh, maybe slightly, slightly afterwards, right? One of the civilizations built upon Londor. Um, because here we're seeing the the beginning of like the, the the whole thing with the moon and the water. People are getting bestial, right? Which is uh, where like the things started to come together in Bloodborne. Um, that's where everything goes back to, right? Is the the moon 
and and the blood and the the beasts and the the illusions through the water and everything right um a lot of like overlapping themes in this wiggle room where they may not necessarily be connected like that but i really enjoy this idea i really enjoy this theory uh that dark souls 3 ends with the fire dying out completely darkness descends and man is left to develop on their own develop their sciences and leads us into Bloodborne um, sort of you know gives us a, a reason or, or method whatever to tie the whole series together again not necessarily all that uh, all that accurate I guess I mean like FromSoft may not have intended for that right um but given like a whole bunch of the item descriptions and whatnot that we get, like uh, like I saved um, I saved Aldrich's soul for this specific reason, right? We go, we take a look. Soul of Aldrich. When Aldrich ruminated on the fading of the fire, it inspired visions of a coming age of the deep sea. He knew the path would be arduous, but he had no fear. He would devour the gods himself. So. Again, water is a huge thing in Bloodborne, where um, there's various like planes of existence and understanding and communication with the higher beings uh, that are sort of layered like like a lake, almost right. It's like it's like imagine our base understanding to be uh, like the bedrock, the, the bottom of the sea, the actual dirt that the water sits upon. And the dirt itself can look up and it can see the water, but it cannot see what is beyond the water, nor can it interact with things that are inside of it. Whereas if you ascended to say being a fish, something that could traverse the water right you could explore it you could understand the water better and you could see visions of things that are above the surface of the water right but still you'd not be able to interact with things above the surface you'd not be able to understand that world or or connect to it necessarily right um these are sort of like the metaphors and and imagery that bloodborne bases its whole uh its whole shtick on um, we find, uh, what is his name, at Bergenworth, um, the old guy in the rocking chair, we find him looking out over the lake, right, uh, contemplating, uh, vacuous Rom, who sits at the bottom, um, plays into this whole age of the deep sea, right, uh, we find cause, um, or the orphan of cause to be the root of everything in Bloodborne, right? That that to be the whole start of what happened in Yarnum. Um, cause came from the ocean, right? It was a it was an organism in the ocean that washed up onto the shore. Um, similarly, um, he knew the path would be arduous, but he had no fear. He would devour the gods himself. Uh, again, something similar that we, we come across in Bloodborne is the idea of... Um, uh, you, you, come ac you come across the umbilical cords, the, the fragments of umbilical cord uh, that are from a... Uh, it was an, uh, an old one. It was an infant old one is born. And, and you, you have this umbilical cord, and so you can eat part of a god. And if you eat enough parts of a god, then you are allowed confrontation with the god and the opportunity to ascend to godhood yourself. Which I think is what Aldrich was going for. Um, I, think, I think that's what they... That's the, that's the impression I get, is with this 
description here, they're trying to imply that Aldrich saw this age of Bloodborne, of, of the great sea, the ocean, the water, the antithesis to fire, elementally speaking, being, um, I guess, the new catalyst for the new age or state of divinity, as it were, and to... You know, the, like the ultimate truth of this uh, this age of water, this age of, of aquatic gods, I guess, um, is to devour the gods yourself so that you can then become one. I think Aldrich was a little bit ahead of the curve, more so than everybody else in Dark Souls 3 here, having some visions of, of the Bloodborne. Him being a... Uh, you know, Aldrich being a, a gross, goopy, dark man. You know, he may have been, I don't know, more, more prone to seeing visions of a, of a world without fire or whatever. I don't know. But uh, that's, that's what I, I wanted to share with you guys at the end of this was um, my whole take on the connection of the three leading up to Bloodborne. And again, as we go through Bloodborne, we will um, we'll take a look at a bunch of the item descriptions and the story as we go along, and we'll see how um, there are things that can link back to some of the previous Souls games and whatnot, right? Because while 3 wasn't out at the time, uh, there may be... I can't remember, but there may be a callback or two in Bloodborne to Dark Souls 1 or 2, possibly. Possibly even to Demon Souls, I'm not sure. Um, but poke, poking around in the Chalice Dungeons, there's a lot. There's a lot in there. Uh, but that's a whole other thing. It's a whole other time. Lognago is here. Although I don't know if he still is or not. That I guess that came in a while ago. I was on a rant. It was on a roll there, so my apologies. But welcome, buddy. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hope all is well with you, Log Neko. Is it finally done? We are. We are finally done. We are done with this. We are done with the Dark Souls. We can... We can be done with that crap now. I I got 10 that way. No, that's 100,000 souls I got. I got 100,000 souls for winning that fight. And... I should I should read the stuff that we got, shouldn't I? Soul of the Lords. Uh, since Lord Gwyn, the first Lord of Cinder, many exalted lords have linked the first flame, and it is their very souls that have manifested themselves as defender of the flame. That soul is not one that you want to fucking eat, because boy, can you get some cool shit for that. Sunlight Spear. Miracle of Gwyn, the first lord, hurls a sunlight spear. The tales of Gwyn's arch dragon hunts describe the inception of the Age of Fire. And then there's the Firelink Greatsword. Oh, is that it? It was just the two of them? Okay, well. Yeah, I'm gonna get the Firelink Greatsword. That's fucking cool. Lords of Cinder linked the first flame, and this greatsword was wielded by their deific manifestation. This coiled sword found thrust in the bonfire existed long before the throneless lords themselves. And it's now in my goddamn inventory. Hells yeah it is. We're also gonna grab the uh, armor set. Their armor set is available now. Firelink Helm. Firelink Set. Armor of the Soul of Sinner, a defect manifestation of Lords of Sinner who linked the first flame, resembles a knight's armor but bears hideous burns and contortions, taking the shape of a deathly rib cage. It exists as a symbol of the great lords and the noble act of linking the fire, though it is no more than an empty husk. It's fucking cool, though. Uh, yeah, they got, like, the same description. These is, this is actually a pretty decent armor set, too, I'm pretty sure. And we still have 29,000 souls left. So, let's buy up some of these armors that we're missing. And I've got, like, 6k left. What can I get for that? Uh, I can get that cool helmet. Ashen one. 
and that leaves me with a thousand souls. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, Firelink Helm. Oh, the weight is going to be so much more than I can handle, I can tell already. Firelink Armor. Firelink Gauntlets. And... Firelink Leggings. Wait, that puts me at 60%. 22 and 23. Oh, that's not bad, actually. That's fucking solid. Look at that. Look at that cool badass. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Dig is huge. All right. Fucking oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. We did it, girl. You and me. We did it. We snuffed out the fire. It's an age of dark. Oh, you're so cool. I love you, Firekeeper. You're awesome. If when thou peerest, thou wishest yet for a world, then call I am a I did call upon you, and it was hype as a hell, girl. I loved it. Uh, Lognag says, sorry for not being here for the final fight. Psychonauts 2 came out today. Been playing for 10 hours. Oh, excellent! Right on. I know you were looking forward to that one. That's cool. I'm glad you're getting some time in with it. I, I don't blame you for not showing up for this one, though. There's been This has been a slog the last little bit, so... I'm glad to finally be done with this. Oh boy, am I glad to be done with this. But Bone Scar, don't you have to go fight Dark Aider and Deer? You shut the fuck up in the back row there about the dragon. You shut up. I'm not gonna go fight that dragon. <laughs> you go fight the dragon. Uh, so, with that done and out of the way, that means I'm gonna have to pick something for tomorrow's stream. We'll have to play something something new. We get to start something new tomorrow. Oh, that's going to be cool. Um, yeah, I'll be all right. I had a good time with that. I had, I had a good time. There was, it got stressful at the end there because like we got close to the end and, and then like the boss fights got hard and it was like, no, I just, I just want it to be over with. Why do you have to make it such a fucking hurdle to clear? So that sucked, but everything up to that was nice, and finishing it was also nice. That final fight there with the, um, with, with the Soul of Cinder or whatever, that was so cool, man. That fight is awesome. I'm so glad I did that one by myself, and I'm so glad I saved it for the end, because doing that and then having to go deal with the rest of the shit, like doing the Pain World and the Ring City afterwards, that would have sucked. That's such a weird shift of events. Especially after, like, you have the ending we got, where the world goes dark. How the fuck do you walk around anywhere? Right? How does that make sense? So you guys understand why we did it the way that we did. 98% clear, that's right. Uh, close enough to 100. Close enough. Uh, I will I will absolutely probably go back to that character again, and then in New Game Plus it at some point. I don't know, I probably won't be on camera, but I'll play that again. I'll play that one again in, in New Game Plus at this time. I don't think I've New Game Plus too many of the, the Dark Souls games. I've New Game Plus Bloodborne, and I think Dark Souls 2. And I may... No, I haven't, I haven't New Game Plus 1 yet. I started and, like, dicked around a bit in one just to see, like, how strong you are. And, yeah, you're real strong. But, yeah, I've not, I've not NG plus one or three yet, so. That would be an interesting time. Uh, so, next up, I guess, on that list is Bloodborne, huh? We gotta, we gotta get to that at some point. Uh, which is perfect timing because uh, the summer is ending and the fall is starting. And fall time means Halloween time. Halloween's spooky, and Bloodborne's spooky. So you know the two just kind of, you know, just kind of makes sense, right? That we'd we'd play the two of them together, or we'd play one with the other. With with the, you know what I mean. You know what I'm trying to get at. Bone Score's tired. <laughs> His words are no good right now. 
Of course, his words are no good a lot of the time, so being tired isn't much of an excuse, but... Eh. Uh, yeah, I don't quite know. I know I've got games picked to, like, put aside or whatever uh, to play tomorrow. I just gotta decide which one it is. Um, Friday, we'll come back, we'll play some Dead Cells. I can't believe I'm making progress on that. That was fucking nuts. Uh, and then Saturday, Sunday, we are playing the Mickey Mouse SNES games. Magical Adventure, what have you. I don't know. But it'll be a good time. It'll be interesting. At the very least, it'll be an absolute train wreck of a game. And that'll be funny to laugh at. Hopefully. <laughs> at the very least, you guys can laugh at me having to go through it. So that'll be something to check out. Uh, yeah. I hope you guys find something to get excited about and do so or don't whatever you know it's your call um hopefully you enjoyed today's stream and we'll come back for more and until i see you here again guys uh remember this place is called the bone pit and i'm your host bone score i don't make the games i just play them um yeah i just play the games and i have a good time doing it and I hope you guys do as well. So take it easy, everybody. Stay inside and stay safe. Stay hygienic and clean. And I guess have yourselves a good state of existence. And Bone Score will catch you all next time, okay? <gasps> bye bye.